hi everyone this is sonil sayyad again and i am back with uh, today's topic and today's topic will be how to create uh, the space station app in the salesforce so uh, you already might be aware of the this uh, how to create the space station app now i am going to show you step by step how you can create this uh, space station app how you can build the object model how you can modify the user experience then how you can add the business logic and finally how to create reports and dashboards so i already have set it up everything in my uh, uh, org to demonstrate now let's get started so i already have logged in into my org and uh, let's just uh, show you uh, i already have set it up uh, uh, the uh, whole process okay from app launcher first of all i'm going to open that application that i already have created for this today's session uh, for the demo purpose so this is the application so previously uh, salesforce named it as uh, the battle station they changed it to space station app Uh, name uh, i mean so the functionality haven't uh, changed the uh, functions have not been changed uh, they are they are asking the same thing to uh, do in the org so first of all how to create this space station app i will going to give you a little uh, brief about this the introduction part so you just need to follow the trailhead instructions in the uh, salesforce uh, first of all Uh, you need to uh, go through how to create the space station object so first of all in your org what you need to do is uh, you need to create an object okay so from this setup i will going to show you what you need to do first okay so uh, you 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 can uh, later on go through this by your own self i am going to just demonstrate how you can do this you need to go to the object manager you need to click on create Uh, and then click click on the custom object and just name it uh, take the label from here copy from here and then uh, paste over there at the custom labels and then it's plural then the object name and whatever requirement has been asked to create this space station object you need to uh, take it from here so it says you need to check the allow reports allow search click save okay so here it is you need to allow reports uh, allow search over here you need to allow the reports whatever ask uh, had been asked over here you need to allow that uh, and then click on save so uh, i already have created uh, an object so you can go through this i'm just demonstrating you okay okay so you need to name it a space station i named it at, uh, it as the battle station uh, as a name as an api name but uh, what you need to do currently you need to name it as space station and in the plural you need to name it as space stations okay and the record name should be space station name then you need to check the allow reports then allow search and then click on save as i already told you you need to go through the object manager click on create object and uh, whatever asked in the trail head you need to allow that okay after uh, creating the object you need to create a tab as well in order to uh, make the object visible on this or okay on the application of yours in short so what you need to do is you need to go to home you need to go to the tabs over here and then you need to on the custom object tabs uh, there are op many options you can create tabs for lightning opponents for lightning pages for visual force pages but right now what we want is custom uh, tab for the object so i already have created it as well for the bat battle stations uh, and uh, in order to cre create a new tab for the object that i am suggesting you need to click on here new and then you need to select the object right now i already have created for the battle station 
already but uh, you need to wh when you create uh, when you going to create the object after that you need to create the tab as well the object name will be uh, over here once you create that object and you, then you can select that particular object and then whatever is required you can select you can add the description as you like and then uh, after next next you can save the tab okay after that uh, the details is already been here given uh, what you need to uh, enable for that particular tab okay now let's move on and after that you need to create this space station construction app so from the setup uh, in the app manager you need to go to the app manager first of all after after creating the tab you need to go to the home again and over here you need to write app app manager you need to go to the app manager and from the app manager you need to crea uh, create a new lightning app over here okay remember you need to name it as per the requirement of uh, this particular trail head okay and every detail has been given already but uh, i am going to just give you a brief so that you can have a basic idea that how it uh, is going to be done so uh, trailhead basically gives a good instruction uh, and if you follow uh, the instruction as per the uh, trailhead uh, the create the uh, build a space station app as per accordingly you uh, go through this whole thing you will going to end up uh, creating everything in the order but you need to go in the a uh, sequence okay uh, this is a very important thing so let's move on and now okay okay the, uh, here it also it also have shown that you need to create a new lightning app okay so it already gives you a basic uh, knowledge about how you need to end up creating this thing in the app manager you need to click on new lightning app and name it uh, over here the name is already given you need to copy from here and you need to uh, sorry paste over here sorry over here okay like this you need to and you can upload the images uh, if you want okay the custom image you can put for your particular application uh, otherwise it will going to uh, look like this app, app uh, launcher preview like this uh, this standard one you can change that uh, by uploading your own image and you can even change the color if you don't want to uh, add the image you can change the color and when you click on done the color will be changed okay so this is the uh, first requirement that you need to fulfill then uh, as it says you need to follow just uh, after adding all the things you need to click next uh, after that you need to go to the standard navigation or console navigation as per your requirement but as per the suggestion goes you need to follow that so after clicking next, no, next under the app options leave the default selections and click next so this already gives you the uh, details that you need to uh, do not need to change the standard setup you need to just click on next okay uh, again after that uh, under utilities leave as it is and click next okay so it says uh, leave it is it it is and click on next okay so now what you need to do is uh, from the available items you need to select that custom object that you have just recently created so the object that i have you are uh, talking about uh, the main purpose for th uh, that object is to visible in your application your custom lighting application so now you need to search for that application for example in my case it is battle station so i am going to select that i am going to move it over here then you can uh, add on the things as it shown over here uh, after that you need to add reports so you need to search over here for reports and then add it uh, likewise you need to add dashboards dashboards edit okay and then lastly and move them select and then click next okay then you need to click next now uh, the uh, profile that you that this uh, for this application you need to provide access to a particular users or the user profile so uh, it will going to uh, uh, so here it has been asked that you need to give the permission to the system admin so what you need to do is you need to search for the system admin over here 
is the right thing as well as the system admin and select it and again add it and whichever user in your case if you are already a developer and you are developing something uh, for your company like application and whatever user you want to give permission to lightning app you can select likewise for your requirement okay after that you need to click on save and finish i already have created so i'm not going to click on save and finish i already have created so i'm not going to click on that okay so this was the first part uh, for creating the space station app okay which was create a space station app after that what you need to do is build the object model okay in the object model uh, first it uh, tells you the two types of object which is standard object and custom object so we already built the custom object as you already have seen and after that it will tell you what more you need to create so in the, this data particular data model what you need to do is you need to create two more objects first is resource and the other one is supply okay and uh, it uh, and uh, under this uh, description you will follow that uh, it will going to give you how to create that uh, custom objects which is it's asking for okay so again in the object manager you need to select the space station and first of all you need to add fields uh, the in the already created object which is space station okay in my case i have named it battle station but in your case it is field, uh, it is space station so you need to first add uh, uh, so after uh, saving and finish, you need to close. Uh, I need to close this. Let's and confirm. Okay. So in my case, it is battle station. In your case, it will be space station. In the battle station, you need to add custom fields from here. Okay. I already have created uh, the fields that it is asking for. I'm just showing showing you which field you need to create. Okay. So the first field is uh, add a project status field so i already have created the project status field with the data type of pick list which is it's asking for the pick list okay so when you cl uh, click on new uh, first the first thing it will going to ask is the data type so here you can select it as whatever uh, the requirement is in our case it is pick list and after the next you can uh, give the name as you can take it from here as well as i already told you you need to copy it from here and you need to paste over here okay after that you need to enter the values so uh, here it already given four values predefined values so what you need to do is uh, you need to select this enter values and here you need to enter the values green yellow red and uh, complete okay so here you need to add sorry red after enter then green enter so uh, why, why i'm uh, entering and giving like this the values so when the pick list appears uh, this uh, values will going to uh, appear like this only okay and then display values alphabetically not in the order entered and checked okay so uh, display uh, you need to select this uh, display values alphabetically not in the order entered okay so wh whatever it is asking to add the field and whichever data type it is asking you need to follow this lead provided by the trailhead in short okay so i already have created you need to just uh, follow these steps and you will end up uh, adding uh, few fields that is required after that i already told you, you need to add the custom object two custom objects after this after you uh, add uh, a few fields which was asked over here in the better station you need to move again in the object manager and you need to create two more custom objects as it is shown over here in the uh, you need to first create the resource custom object and then you need to create a this supplies custom object okay and for that uh, whichever field is required it is already shown in this steps as well you need to add this that as well in this scenario okay so i already have completed this as well as you can see so it is not very hard thing to uh, do uh, once you follow the steps as it is asked in the trailhead uh, you will be going to end up in a good state by creating few fields and objects okay so after all of this uh, okay after creating this custom objects and custom fields the other step is to modify the user experience 
so again uh, this is also have been provided by the salesforce that every step has been given by it so uh, this is about adding that field on the layout so now what you need to do is you need to move to the setup and then on the object manager for example first in this uh, our battle station app in my case in your case it, it is space station so first of all let's search for that the battle station app you need to go to the page layout in this page layout you need to go to the standard page layout and you need to add that fields which you have just created in I in my case I already have added as I already said uh, I have created this custom uh, field weapon status then project status okay so what you uh, by custom uh, by default it will not going to take you need to come to this page layout and you need to add by uh, just uh, take your for example I'm just showing you um, like this you need to pick uh, that particular field and put uh, it on your page layout like this sorry uh, like this and then you need to save once you save that field will going to be appear in your page layout like uh, let me show you how over here in when you click on new okay you can see that weapon status is now visible over in the page layout so whichever field you want to show you can show and whichever field you want to hide you can easily hide from your page layout okay so this is all about that and uh, it is already showing you where you can edit uh, that's uh, okay in the related list what you need to do is again in the relate uh, right now it is asking for the related list as well it is showing click on the range icon next to the resources label in the related list to bring up the properties editor model so uh, in this case what you need to do is I already have created in the related list the resources and supplies are visible clicking on here you can add uh, the fields of the uh, resources object over here in the selected fields I already added and then after adding that for example I am uh, adding this one and after that you need to click on over here You need to click over here uh, on OK or save. Once you click on save, the uh, changes will be saved. And same thing goes for the supplies. You need to add whichever field uh, the trailhead is asking for you to add. Okay. So you need to uh, again follow these steps provided by the Salesforce. Okay. And after uh, some space station data, uh, here you need to uh, again you need to uh, create some custom data as well. Okay. Uh, in my case I am going I have already added some uh, records in my uh, battle station you need to add in your space station some records in order to test our uh, all these added things okay and uh, uh, after that uh, it is asking for add some spa uh, space station data for you to create some uh, records okay with uh, this details it is already providing your details as well and you need to enter this record okay uh, this is the another record which is it is asking you to add in the and now you need to do the same thing for the supplies and after that you need to uh, add record in the uh, resources as well so this is how it has been shown over here so I already have uh, completed this as well after modifying the user experience you need to add the business logic now this is very important part you need to note that uh, the business logic is something that based on completely on your requirement and your clients requirement okay so uh, the first thing it is asking is you to create the validation rule in your object so the <coughs> first thing is uh, the name of the rule so I'm going to show you I'm going to cancel it okay we are already on, on the battle station object uh, and here is the validation rules you need to create the uh, new validation rule from here in your case uh, as per your requirement okay 
so first of all it is showing where to where you, uh, do you need to create the validation rule so here you need to uh, create the validation rule in the resource object so we are going to navigate back to the object manager and we are going to search for the resource resource okay i already have created this custom object and you need to go to the validation rule i already have created this but in your case you need to create new and then as i said you need to follow the instructions you need to copy the rule name from here and add over here then it also gives you the formula which you need to add in your formula uh, for the error condition this is the condition you need to uh, sorry you need to copy it from here okay and you need to paste it in your condition and uh, lastly for the error message you need to copy the error message from here and you need to paste it over here okay and whichever preferences it has been shown you need to follow that okay then you need to check the syntax over here that uh, are you facing some errors or not so no errors are found now simply you need to click on save as per the requirement okay so this is a simple step not a complicated one and after that the main thing comes is the uh, flow builder you need to go through and create a flow so this is a very detailed uh, part uh, and i can create a separate video on this but uh, this is the same thing again you need to follow the steps okay and uh, once you follow the steps as provided over here you will going to easily uh, end up creating the flow uh, as well as per the requirement and uh, uh, it is not a such a hard step that you cannot create it is a easy one okay so uh, you have to go through this as well now finally the last thing in our uh, building a space station app is the how to create a reports in dashboard show so this is the last step uh, in our uh, session today's so again you if you are uh, have uh, any basic knowledge to how to create the reports and dashboards you will easily going to complete this particular uh, task easily so it all uh, it also gives the screenshots to how to uh, uh, do this report creation and dashboard creation so this is not some such a detailed part okay so you can go through this as well i am leaving it for today's uh, session but uh, you can put a comment in the comment session if you want the detailed video on this two last topic that i have just skipped the flows and create the reports and dashboards you can put a comment and i can create a separate uh, detailed video on that particular thing if you are facing the issue you can put a comment under the comment session and i will going to show you how you can uh, create a flow if you are facing any errors i will show you uh, uh, by creating a separate video on that uh, on that particular point and uh, on the reports and dashboards as well so this is it guys and uh, if you like this video and you have gained any uh, benefit from this video please share this video to your uh, salesforce developers team and uh, also let them complete this trail uh, had uh, challenges by themselves as well so this is it guys and best of luck for your uh, trail head uh, uh, tasks and this is it goodbye and take care